It's not just a song, written by Jerry Moore Brunton, me. When I listen to music, it sparks me. I feel a range of emotions that sometimes overwhelm me. It's not just the tune or the lyrics, but sometimes it's the artist, the fact that they made it. I wonder what sets me apart from them. I look at the career I had and I think of the what ifs and dig deep to find what's left in me. I get up and sing, memorize and internalize the words. I sing them loud and make them mine. I want to be heard. I want a voice, their words, their perfection, their power of fame. I have the need to stand for something greater than what I am right this moment. I want to be seen and my feelings, dreams and beliefs to be considered. I'm driven to share my story, to connect the way the artists I'm listening to are. They pull me in. I bend my mind and ride the melody on a wave of changes with every song that plays on my home pod. When I listen to music, it inspires me to write, dream, live, and soar. I close my eyes and imagine what it would be like to be adored, to be carried away on a sea of cheering voices, singing the words that came from my mind back toward me, visualizing the future only to sadly arrive to silence. I don't just put on a song and relax. I can't. It has never been that for me. Listening to music is a reminder of every dream and aspiration my mother, family, and teachers ever had for me, for my future and their future. It stirs up where I've been, where I was headed, which way I turned, and where I am now. Music is in my blood, a blessing and a curse that I wish that I could cut from my soul at times. It's an internal desire for greatness and a blow of crushing defeat. Sometimes it takes me soaring as high as the sun and sometimes drops me to rock bottom regret. My melody, always bright enough to propel me to the stars, only to fall short and flash across the sky, making one last wish on its dimming flicker. It's not just a song on a Saturday morning as I sip a cup of coffee or ride in my car. My car, the one place I still crank it up, could drive for days and sing thousands of songs, one after another, breathlessly, endlessly, numbingly bearing my soul. The music moves and simultaneously grounds me, gluing me to a single moment. It sends me flowing backward and forward in time and with a single note can set my life flashing before my eyes. It's a rebirth, heartbreaking, joy, love and delight, death, praise and worship. Music is so much, wrapped up in one single pattern of rectangular bars, little black notes, dots and sticks floating over a white page or just spinning around in my brain. When I listen to music, I see a snapshot of every moment that coincides with the particular lyric I'm listening to. My life rises and falls with the melody. When I listen to music, it is more than just a sound. It is the fiber of my being that no one else will ever experience or understand because they're not me. My memories shape the unique way I hear, sing, feel, remember, see, and understand music. Music has asked a lot of me and also given me so much. It has scared me, freed me, made me wild, disciplined, and moved me. It has taken me not just emotionally, but physically from state to state and country to country. It has introduced me to the loves in my life and taken me away from them, taunted me until I'd spill my secrets or to bend the truth to tell my story. When I listen to a song, I hear the sound and I brace myself as the waves of audible art surge over me in its power and it penetrates me. I wonder... And I'm transported. In all honesty, when I listen to music, it's not just the tune, the lyrics, or the artist. It's everything.